Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Big Wuss audits as he audits a city hall, which there's nothing really to talk about as far as that goes. It's really quite boring, but that's not why I'm showing you this video. It's his most recent upload. It really showcases his lack of talent for frauding. But this also serves as an overall message that I want everybody here to pass along to Big Wuss Audit, if you're able to talk to him. So, intermixed with the usual video, I'm going to give out my message periodically throughout the video, so stay tuned to the very end to get the whole picture. What up guys, Big West Audit, we're back here with another video today guys, and I just went to the Monroe, Michigan Courthouse, Police Station, Sheriff Station, and Jail, my last video, it was 57 minutes long. I just ended that video and started this one because right next door is the City Hall. I didn't want to include that in it because it's just going to be stupid long. Uh, we're just going to make a whole new video on it guys. So we're in Monroe, Michigan at the Monroe City Hall. Let's see how they respect our rights to record in the City Hall, guys. Now, my phone only has 18% battery, so... Yeah, I watched that audit, and it was a whole lot of nothing. It was about 55 minutes, almost nothing but dead air. But I'll tell you what was something. An issue that happened last night on Frauditor Troll's channel. There were two major takeaways from that live stream that he had only just last night. The first was audit them trying to crash the party disguised as Dr. Dave. I wonder how Dr. Dave would like that. Now let's get back to the video and contemplate that for a while. Hopefully we don't die out here. Not me, literally, but my phone. You guys know what I'm saying. Oh, let's go in the city hall, guys. Monroe, Michigan. Monroe, Michigan City Hall. Let's go see what this sign says right here. What is this security guard doing, bro? Is he still trying to call somebody on me? This is the security guard from the last video of the courthouse that kept trying to kick me out, guys. I don't know who he's calling because I just talked to the captain next door and they ain't gonna come do nothing to me. You need to uh, get back to doing your job. I don't know why this guy wants to put his hands on me so bad. Like, dude, go back inside and go back to work, bro. You ain't no police officer. You ain't gonna come touching me. Go check out the city hall in Monroe, Monroe, Michigan, guys. Monroe, Michigan, city hall. Hopefully my phone doesn't die. We got 18%, guys. Some lady already looks super upset I'm recording. The cop? Hopefully they didn't call that cop there for me. Now, as far as uh, Dr. Dave and his obsession with audit them goes, that's a discussion for another story or video or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to cover that here. You could go to Dr. Dave's channel or whatever and find out there. Now, the second thing that happened over there was that you showed up, big wuss. And when everybody realized you were in there, and then finally when Frauditor Troll realized you were in there, he invited you to come into the chat with him so everybody could hear your side of the story. But let's continue on with video and we'll cover that issue a little bit later on. You're a little late, buddy. I ain't do nothing. I'm 
I'm not even here to record you, ladies. Calm down. It's really not that big of a deal. Just went to five buildings next door. Did the same thing. Why they got this in the city hall? That was just staring at me. Maybe I can ask them here at the city hall why the, all the water's bad and the drinking fountains at the courthouse. Well, that would be a great question to find out. You know what would be an even better question to get answered? Is why you didn't accept Fraud or the Troll's invitation. I know what you said in there is that you didn't want to be made fun of. And once I found out that you were in there, I was being as nice as I could to get you to come in there. There were several content creators in there who were trying to encourage you to accept the invitation, including Unclean Hands, for instance. I want to discuss your rationale behind why you didn't want to join. But in the meantime, let's get back to your video. You know what, I don't even care anymore, I need something to drink. If I get lead poisoning, you guys know why. It's from the city of Monroe. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you the city clerk? I am not. Clerk Loyas. Okay. Um, what really is the city clerk? Would you like to talk to her? Uh, maybe. Yeah, okay. yeah, I will. Give me one second, okay? All right, thank you. So, getting back to last night, your major concern was that you were going to be made fun of, that you didn't want to see all those mean comments in the chat. My advice to you, boy... Grow up. We all see it when we join YouTube. I see it in my chat. I don't let it bother me. I just ignore it, and I move on. Hell, even the Dr. Dave comparison issue, I just totally ignore. I do my thing, he does his thing. I really could care less. But you really should grow a thick skin. In my experience... Working in retail for a decade, I heard all sorts of negativity directed toward me in the first five years alone. Simply because I was dealing with thousands and thousands of customers per year. Personally in my position as a Tire Lube Express service rider. You want to talk about having to develop a thick skin? Well, there you go. Do that for a few years. And then when I transitioned into the education field within the past couple of years and somebody apologized for talking rude to me, I really had no idea of when they were rude to me in the conversation I had with them at that particular time because my standards of rudeness had been changed over the years working at Walmart. That's called developing a thick skin. And if you're going to be in YouTube production... You really need to develop that. Yes, are you the city clerk? Yes. Um, I just had a question. What is really the city clerk's job? The 
city clerk, um, we administer the elections and we keep the public records. And I'm also the treasurer, so we do the collection of the bills and okay, the payments and for sure. like that. Okay, and uh, who who watches over things in the city, such as like the water and electricity and stuff like that? Um, water department handles the water, mm -hmm. and we don't provide power, electrical power. Okay, so I just had a quick question. I was at the the courthouse, and a lot of those water machines say like the water's not safe or something. Do you know anything about that? No, I don't know anything about okay. that. Okay, no. and I just drank out of that That's drinking fountain, so hopefully I'm, I'm good. Probably a county issue, although you okay. could check with the water department. All right, um, what can I find on the, the second floor? On the second floor? Yeah. Um, there's the Human Resources Department, the Assessor's um, Office, the City okay. Manager's Office. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just going to take a couple of pictures of like some, some signs and stuff you guys got, and I'll be on my way in a couple minutes. Thank you. Right, Have a great day. Welcome. Thank you. All right, guys. There you have it. It actually tells us right here, the mayor. You know, I'm going to talk to the mayor. I need a key card. Can you not take the elevator and go talk to the mayor? Ma'am? Is there any way I can get access to the second floor? Um, it says I had a key card. Is it yeah. open up there to the public? Um, let me just double, but yes. Okay. All right, guys, so the upstairs is open to the public, but you have to have a key card to get through the elevator. All right, thank you. She buzzed us in, guys, and anyways, that dude was coming down, so we are gonna get in one way or another. We're in the secret elevator, let's go. Now there's actually a third floor. Conference room. Mayor's office. Let's go find the mayor. I never talked to the mayor before. Uh, no, I'm okay. Who let you up? Yeah, uh, the lady at the front desk. Oh, okay. Are you with what company? Uh, I prefer not to say. Can you say are, you that? are you security guard? No, I'm just curious. Oh, uh, yeah, sir. I'm just an independent journalist working on the city of Monroe, and I just wanted to come in and document the city hall. I'm just taking pictures of, like, signs and pictures. Okay. not trying to harass anybody. You know, okay. I'll be on my way. Thank you. Like, I didn't want to hear my story. You just want to know who I work for. I work for myself, bro. Me and security guard or a cop. Get out of my face. And if you were a security guard or a cop, you can get out of my face, too. Okay, here's what I think of your videos as far as critiquing them. Like that police station one the other day all it took place on a Sunday. You should have known that a lot of places are closed on Sundays. This one was quite boring because you're engagement with them is nothing like you see in Denver Metro audits or auditing America or fake Mike real news or Georgia transparency. The list goes on and on and on of what kind of hostility that you're lacking. You do not belong in this field. You don't have the anger issues that they do. And when you do get arrested, you cry like a baby. That being said, I am rather disappointed that you didn't join Frauder to Troll in the live discussion that he wanted to have with you when you did show up. A lot of us were quite disappointed. Now, in the next few days, I am planning on having a live chat of my own, and I would like to invite you in there.
I just don't want to be disappointed again and you not show up. I won't be making fun of you. I just want to see where you're coming from. If you'll accept, I will be glad to have you on. Though I am not going to go out of my way to seek you out and invite you on, given how you acted last night.